we want to see the challenges that uh, Moldova faces in welcoming uh, Ukrainian refugees. This is the reason why we went to Palanka. Now the flux of refugees is slowing down a little bit, but it could be artificial or temporary. Uh, so far the situation in Odessa is a little better, uh, but there are still people coming in uh, and uh, international organizations, NGOs and Moldovan authorities team up together to welcome the refugees the best they can. The first thing the EU did was uh, sending uh, Frontex, the uh, EU border guards uh, agency, uh, alongside with the EU mission to monitor the, the, the border. Uh, we have to send more humanitarian assistance and also to share the burden because uh, there is still 100,000 refugees in Moldova, a tiny country, uh, and uh, we need to find a way to uh, help them get these refugees elsewhere in Europe. The challenge of uh, gas supply is very high on the agenda and uh, for a country which is not as wealthy as country of the European Union, the presence of so many refugees, uh, despite the generosity of the Moldovan people, uh, is not sustainable on the long term if there is no more support for, from the EU. So it's good that the EU is committed to uh, support Moldova and there will be a donors conference next week where member states have to be fully on board and uh, support this country.